Hey, good morning. So um, I've been seeing a lot of uh, people asking questions. How can I uh, register a user using uh, Jet Engine or CrocoBlock? So I made a video. Hopefully this helps. Uh, the simple way that you can actually uh, build a form using Jet Engine is you, in the left-hand column in your navigation, uh, go down to Jet Engine, make sure Jet Engine is highlighted, and then uh, you want to make sure Forms is checked. Once it's checked, hit Save, and that is literally the beginning of this. So then, let's reload. It's already here, but you do have to reload. Uh, then go to Forms. Now, I already started one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and trash this so that you guys can see the process from beginning to end. So we're going to do add new form. All right. So now we're going to say, all right, we're going to call this user registration. Oh boy. I keep misspelling that. Now, these two fields right here, these are hidden. So this is a post ID field. You don't, you probably don't need it. I'm just going to leave it. It's not a big deal. Um, submit button. They do make you uh, apply your own submit button. Usually Elementor already does it. Jet Engine uh, does not. That's not a big deal. So these are your, your settings, your fields. These are the actual ones that uh, you use to um, create the actual form. All right, so add a new field. Make sure that you drop them all above. I would honestly just... Uh, just, just get rid of this. Uh, let's see here. I don't need it right now. It's just going to cause you a headache. Uh, you do need to follow the same, um, the same user layout. So you do need to get somebody's first name. Um, if you want to go through and do this placeholder, I'm not going to go through all of these. Just uh, hit apply changes. And then let's do uh, name. These do not need, again, these do not need to be precise. They don't. The whole point of this is, is that you want to make sure that you split the two of them, okay? Um, because the form will not do it for you. There we go. Last name. Okay. Apply. We also got to get email. So, do your email field type, change it to email, hit apply. And now you can have them set a password. Um, it may be prudent, though, to say, hey, reef, you know, create a generic password that you email to them. Um, I'm not clear on how that's done, but for just it right now, I'm just going to say password. So let's say password. password. Again, if you want to go through and just kind of give people a little bit of um, detailed information here, go for it. Uh, I, it's recommended. Uh, again, the really cool thing here, I'm just going to note this, you can add CSS classes to this. W why does that matter? Well. Uh, if you already have a JS framework that is for, um, you know, form submission or form validation, well, you're going to need CSS classes because most form validation software or, or, or frameworks, uh, whether it be JavaScript, they do require that, you know, you have an actual uh, uh, classes associated with each and every one of your fields. Uh, it, now, sometimes they do say, like, you can assign those uh, dynamically through uh, the JavaScript framework, but, you know, sometimes they don't. Uh, maybe I can talk about that in another video. Uh, add, bol add a request for that, and I'll do my best. Um, so, we this is pretty much just, like, the most generic base. Uh, you know, you can go further, but let's get to the, the actual uh, more important meat. How do we get the user registered? 
Well, that's in this post submission here. So, so far we have a, you know, send email request, uh, change this to say, you know, your name, you have a new person who's signed up. Um, and then these percents, these are what we call macros. Well, the macro is based on whatever information. So like first name, you would say percent first name, then close percent. And then change this to user's first name. So that's how that works. And then you can add all the fields down here. Um, as you can see, they are right here, but I just wanted to explain because that's what makes things cool. Um, so I'm just going to say apply, but now that's just an email. We got to get in the actual user's information in there. And I just forgot one thing because I saw it down here, username, make sure to say username, goodness sakes, username. Okay, sweet. Okay, so back to here, hit add notification. We're gonna hit the edit. We're gonna change this from send email to register new user. And I mean, let's just go through these real quick here. Uh, let's say you have a backend or user that's already created an account, but they need an update. Well, you could create a form that then updates that user information. We can go through that in another tutorial. Uh, post below to say, please give me another tutorial on how to do this, or you know what, just generally anything. I, I, I'm falling in love with Crocoblox. So I'm not gonna sing you a song about it, but it's pretty amazing program. Uh, but we're gonna register a new user right here. Now, these are the field maps. These are the user meta. Well, all we gotta do is literally map from our uh, user login, which is username, email to email, password to password. I think we're all kind of getting the, the gist of it here. You probably do want to confirm password. That's not a bad thing. So <laughs> I, do, I did it again, I did it again. Let's do this. Uh, confirm pass. Okay, so I believe, and you know, I, I'm, I'm hopefully I'm not going to bite it here, but you should be able to uh, check those two fields. I'm not going to do it right here, but we're just going to go confirm password, uh, first name, last name. Uh, do you need a user URL? Uh, probably not. I wouldn't worry about it. Now, there it is user roles. So you can create certain user roles. You will need an extra, um, an actual extra plugin that'll do that. Uh, I can give you some, you know, of my own opinions on what plugins I would do, but yeah, no, you can, you can assign and say, you know what, this person's going to be an author, contributor, a subscriber. Clearly you don't want an admin because I mean, that's just website suicide. Hold on, hydrate. Mm. Got to hydrate when you talk so much. But yeah, I would just say, you know, most people, author, it's mid-tier. Um, they can do posts. They could pretty much do, you know, most basic items. If you don't want them to do that, if you don't want them to have any access rights to the back, make them an editor, okay? And you can also uh, write a simple PHP script that forbids them from the uh, WP admin. Um, it's pretty easy to do, uh, not, not too difficult. So now you set user meta fields to save appropriate form fields into uh, post ID, uh, you know, th that's again, uh, that would be going to the, uh, each one of these. Again, we have it over here in the um, uh, send email. But uh, th this this is this is pretty much it. Uh, if you the difference between a user meta and a field map is that let's say you created a custom um, a custom user interface, and I don't know maybe you've got 
a website where you've got buyers and you got sellers and you want to get like the buyer and the seller's information I, i'm botching this so uh, i'm doing what i'm doing this off the cuff of my you know right now so hopefully this makes sense to you but if you were to say go into acf and create three fields and each one of them was for like a specific purpose you could then map those specific fields so maybe you had a field that was called a buyer or maybe you had a field that was called seller well there you go you could then put um the buyer and the seller information um in determining which one they are into that field maybe you're collecting a credit card not a good idea, but you know, I don't know. Maybe you, you you're ballsy and you got you know a uh, 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 a security strategy in mind that is going to make this easy. Anyway, um, you kind of get the idea. Now, once we're done, log user in after register. Maybe not such a good idea, uh, but again, that's there's that ability. Um, add user ID uh, to form data and hit apply changes uh, if you want to have uh, certain validations here they are um, you know empty password uh, I mean it's just it's all right here uh, password mismatch that's probably definitely one you want to have by the way did I set that as I did not oh there we go okay um, yeah so that's that's it uh, if you have any questions, if I haven't mumbled too much, hopefully a lot of this makes sense to you. Hopefully this is really helpful. If it's not, you know, let me know. Tell me. Send me uh, an email. It's uh, C-O-R-N-E-L-A-S at pixelvolusion.com. Have a great day, everybody.